What is really good, everybody? What is really good? This is your boy, Mr. Ant-Man75, and I'm coming at you with a quick review. This time, I'm going to be showcasing my A-Force Toys R Us exclusive box set. Um, just trying to make this quick, because a lot of these characters I didn't care nor really want it. Um, There's only two that I was really interested in getting, and we'll get right into it. So first and foremost, we're going to start off with the people I didn't know nothing about, and that is, first one would be Singularity. Uh, I haven't read any comic about this chick. Um, this, I, you know, it was a figure. It looked nice, in my opinion. You know, it looked, it looked like she the daughter of, I think it's an Eternity or Infinity or something like that. Or I think it's Eternity. I don't know. You know the 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 embodiment of the galaxy or whatever or the universe or whatever we live in. You know, Eternity. I think it is. Yeah, it looked like she could be his daughter or something like that. And that's about as far as I go with it. I, I didn't try to look up nothing on her. She just looked like a cool figure. And I've learned from practice and um, um, other times buying figures or seeing a figure and saying, I don't want it. And then all of a sudden, bow, it becomes super popular. And I have to try to search and try to get it. And people trying to charge me extra and double prices for it. So I just learned to just get the figure and then set it out later on. Next one I didn't really care about having was uh, Elsa Bloodstone, but I did actually read up on her and come to find out I enjoyed the character that was in the book. And then what really made me research something about it was the, the figure kind of impressed me a little bit. I did like the figure. Didn't like the fact that you can't twist her hair, like the back of her hair. I don't know why Hasbro won't do this. Just, you know, if, you, if it pegs in, just make it so you could twist it and turn it, you know. To different positions, you know, especially if you have she has a ponytail, but they didn't do it, so whatever. But as a figure it itself, I did thoroughly enjoy it. I wish she had like a little holster or something that she could put these guns in on her back or something like that. And uh, they went ahead and gave her a Misty Knight uh, little gun strap thingy or whatever that's supposed to be. So, you know, I thought it was pretty cool. I do not like the fact that her and uh, Monica, Monica Rambeau, uh, they share the same jacket. Don't like that. But, you know, they rehashing and coming out with new figures. So, whatever the case. So, next character would be Lady Loki. I thought Loki was a kid now or something like that. Or do he flip-flop between a kid and a woman? Uh, and I thought that was supposed to be he had embodied Lady Sis body. I don't know what the heck they doing. I just know the figure looks the figures looks decent. You got these big gigantic man hands, the same hands they gave uh, Spider Woman like back in the day when that uh, uh, the comic accurate Spider Woman came out, and they gave her those gigantic man hands. And um, I didn't like them then. I don't like them now. I've been trying to find some hands I could put in there. I was thinking, uh, who is that rogue? Her uh, left hand is out. Should be able to fit up in there pretty, pretty, pretty nicely. Um, the other problem is finding another hand in either the same posture that's like a flesh colored hand or whatever. So, you know, the search is on. But um, as a figure itself, I do like the figure. I think she looked dope. And um, I like the paint schemes down here on the uh, thighs and then uh, on the chest. But uh, if she's supposed to be an Asgardian, she's rather short. She's she's kind of short. So, you know, now we're getting into the characters that I really do like because that's pretty much all I had to say about Lady Loki. And um, I don't know what they're doing in the comics because I don't read them. Anyway, moving right along, the next person I wanted to talk about is Lady Seth. I definitely wanted to have Lady Seth. Uh, just because the character itself, it makes me even more anxious to try to get the Warriors 3 Balder uh, Executioner. We might even still get him, but that is a character that I'm uh, eagerly anticipating. And, um, I, I, you know, I can't wait to see what else he's going to do as far as, you know, what they're bringing out in these different ways as far as Thor is concerned and the Asgardians. So, um, yeah, uh, they gave her Angela's body, which was, you know... It's, it's cool, but then that means she should have been a little bit taller. You know, that's an Asgardian, too. She's like regular people height, you know? I think, yeah, Elsa is taller than she is. So, you know, eh, that's what they did. But, you know, I was really eagerly looking forward to that figure. We got it. I have to. So, you know what I'm saying? It's like, cool. You know, now I can go ahead and put that on display. 
and uh, hopefully we can start building up more Asgardian characters and having a, a more different display uh, look when you have your whole shelf dedicated just to Asgardians, which would be pretty cool. The next character I was uh, not so much eagerly looking forward to, but, you know, just having another She-Hulk was pretty cool. It was She-Hulk. Okay, so, you know, even, even through reviews of when, you know, people bought it at San Diego or whatever, and then they came back out this way. Like, when I saw her face, she looked kind of stern, and I'm sort of used to having She-Hulk with a more livelier face. I mean, they could have her kind of scrawling, you know, it's like, like, uh, her brow kind of, like, frowned up a little bit, and, like, with a smirk, you know, that would, that would have, like, you know, made me appreciate the character a little bit more, you know, but they didn't. And it's not that bad, but uh, I did notice the little area between right up in here, between the uh, the arms and the, the bicep or whatever. That that little area is so flimsy, man. When you get to moving it, it feel like it's just going to break. And I went to the, uh, who is this, the rear She-Hulk. And she's, she's not, nah, she the same way. Yeah, she the same way. So... I mean, that's my major gripe with that. And I think I will be doing a video on her and compare her to the other She-Hulks that we have gotten in um, Marvel Legend form. Move right along. The main character I really, 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 really wanted was Monica Rambeau. Like, I was, like, <laughs> back in the day when I was a kid and Secret Wars came out, like, issues, like, you know, I was a kid back then and it, it blew my mind and like I loved every character in there. I'm wishing they came out with a Titania and a Volcana. Like those those characters was in there. You know, I wish they would come out with these things, but they did hit us with Miss uh it was Captain Marvel back then. Uh what is the name? Captain Marvel Photon. I don't know what her name is, you know what I'm saying? But I do know that I was really looking forward for this character. And I got it. Um, I would have wanted her classic 80s look. But this is just fine too. I, I dig it. So only other thing I don't dig is, you know, they gave her like a teenage body. You know, I kind of was feeling like she should have had this body mold. Instead of this little skinny teenage body mold. This is more, it's a little bit more meat to this one. I should have figured she would have had this one. But now they, they be giving... A lot of the sisters, these little skinny body molds, just weird. I mean, you know, I know they come in all shapes and sizes, but I think she should have had this size. It, it should have been flip-flopped. Actually, she should have been just about as tall as that one back then. But anyway, glad we got the character. I'm glad I have the character. Got two of those as well, and I'm looking forward to putting it on my shelf. And I'm looking forward to you guys telling me what you think about if you have this set as well. You know, because that's pretty much it I have to say about these uh, characters and uh, the anticipation of getting them. And when I got them, how do they look on the shelves? And as of right now, all the Hasbro and what they're doing right now go so seamlessly together. It's ridiculous. I did have some points of time where Toy Biz kind of looked like mm, this don't really match. But I don't have a problem with a lot of the uh, Hasbro figures that's coming out because they're pretty much using the same buck and the same body mold for everybody. And, you know, their, their their choices of who they get the body molds to is kind of off. But for the most part, everything is looking real good. So, again, tell me what you think. You got this A-Force box set. Which one is the best one to you? Like, just out of nostalgia's sake, Monica Rambeau is my best figure. You know, just oh, the overall like of the characters. But the, the best figure to me that I gotten out of this wave is Elsa. You know, I feel like, you know... This character is dope. I like the whole little mystique of what they gave to her. Just wish she had some place to put her guns. So again, tell me what you think. What did you get out of this box set that, you know, you felt like, yeah, this is a good box set. Or did you get it? It was like, I spent $120 on what? This is garbage. So let me know in the comments. I'll let your boy be hitting you up with another video pretty soon. This is Mr. Ant-Man 75. I'll let you guys later. Deuces.